hello and welcome to my channel my name is kathleen rose this is skeleton key tarot and this is a reading for aries all aries placements sun moon rising venus whenever you've got aries in your chart in your life cross watchers are welcome thank you so much for joining me today and thank you for all the support i love you guys so much have i told you that lately you have been amazing to me i've been getting so much support Oh my goodness. But anyway, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm loving this. This was such a good idea. I felt guided. Okay. I felt guided to do these tarot readings and I'm just, I'm so glad. Thank you, angel spirits, guides. Now let me just focus in on Aries because that's who we're here to talk about. Not me. Although I do have Aries, Venus and Jupiter in my chart. So it's a little bit about me too. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. I'm already getting cards for you. Angel Spirits Guides, thank you for letting me be a clear, open channel for accurate messages for Aries. Help me to give Aries the information that they need to know. Please and thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so, damn, that one didn't want to come out. That was struggling. All right, I'm already starting to see a story here. Bottom of the deck, we got the five of cups on the split we've got king of wands aries leo sagittarius energy all right so there's been some disappointment here i don't like that who is disappointing my aries we'll get into it we got the fool card nine of wands eight of swords ten of pentacles nine of cups two of pentacles the hanged man and the devil is that devil causing you problems i don't like it not one bit, but we've got the fool here, which means taking a leap of faith towards something new and beautiful. It's also the energy of springtime, and it is coming up on springtime now in the Northern Hemisphere, especially. So for all of my Northern Hemisphere babies, we are getting into that place, that time of year where things are gonna start turning green again. Everything's going to start bursting into life again, coming to life after this long, cold winter. Things are going to start heating up. That's what The Fool is all about. You're going on this adventure. We're starting the adventure of the new year, okay? The sun is moving into Aries. We've got that big burst of energy that everything starts to come back to life. We're taking that leap of faith. We're on a new adventure. We are not scared. Nothing is holding us back, okay? But what is this? What is this? Nine of Wands. We're tired. We're tired. We don't want to do this anymore. Something we don't want to do anymore. Something we're thinking negatively about. We feel stuck with the, with the eight of swords. That's no good. So we're, we're sort of resisting this. We're resisting this change. We're pessimistic about this new beginning. Even though we're supposed to be taking a leap of faith towards it. I don't know. Maybe we're not. Maybe this is not a very well-aspected fool card right now. This is feeling almost like fool in reverse. Like we're feeling stuck. Hanged man being here reiterates it and with the devil these people are chained so that's not good we're feeling tired we're feeling stuck we've got this sort of like we're the victim here somebody's done something to undermine our confidence i don't like that okay so we're going through this grieving process right now but here's the thing i do have the ten of pentacles which is long-term financial stability here so is this threatening your stability is this undermining your stability is there interference and you need to be cautious of this interference somebody trying to interfere with your money with your stability your abundance you've got to guard yourself you're on guard and you're feeling a little trapped right now that's the energy I'm getting. But with the Nine of Cups, there's happiness here. There's wish fulfillment. Things are changing with the Two of Pentacles. Things are always going to be changing. There's ups and downs with everything in life. So right now, you may be feeling stuck and trapped in something very, very negative. But there's something you've got to let go. Letting go in order to receive. Okay, there is this power here. This personal power. This ambitious power this ambitious energy, but there's something that needs to be seen in a different light. Something that used to work in the past maybe is not working anymore and it has to be surrendered, surrendering to the process to make it through. The punishment, I heard. Surrender to the process to make it through the punishment, okay. 
Thanks. <laughs> so you could be juggling your wish fulfillment with this stuck energy. Because on either side of this two of pentacles, which is like this juggling card of change, growth, and um, building upon what's already been established, more Capricorn energy, um, you've got the happiness and you've got the hanged man. So it's like, yes, you want this wish, but you're stuck and you have to let something go. Letting go to receive. Um, balancing what you love and what you really want and what makes you happy with something that is dragging you down and it doesn't feel good. It could be like a job. Like you want to leave this job, but you're not because you're stable. You want to leave this situation, but you're not because it's stable. It's abundant. Yeah, you've got long-term financial stability in this situation, but what about your happiness? Are you really happy in this situation? It looks like there's a no here. It looks like disappointment. It's a no Look at that. Two of Swords, that to me, that, that means a couple of different things. First of all, it means no. If, we, if we're asking a yes or no question, that's a no. It's an X. It says no. But that's not all. It's about peace of mind. It's about balancing through the mind and the heart. It's about um, Moon and Libra. So it's about being diplomatic. And yes, it's about fairness. It's about balance. And it's about making a decision. So you have a decision to make. Ugh. Seven of Cups, a decision to make. You have all of these options and no, they are not all equal. Some of them are negative. Some of them are positive. But what's really important is self-actualization. What do you want? Really, deep down, what do you want? King of Wands, entrepreneurial energy, leadership, pioneering. This is a warrior. This is somebody who's overcome a lot, fought a lot of battles, came out of the fire. Okay, there's a little salamander, survives the flames. He can't be burned, all right? Walking away. Six of Swords, you're being guided towards something else on a, on, a spiritual, on a spiritual level. Spirit Quest, okay? This is asking us to be very objective about this situation. We got to get clarity because look at the Nine of Swords is underneath. There's anxiety. There's insomnia. Something is seriously bothering you. Again, you got to listen to your intuition with the High Priestess being here. It's telling you to listen to your inner voice. Um, there's forward movement here. Yes, you're being guided to move on, but you've got to let go of certain things. This card tells us that you don't want to bring all that old baggage into the new situation. If you're going forward, if you're leaving something behind, do not bring that old baggage because you're just gonna end up manifesting the same old thing. Two of Wands underneath tells us you're looking forward to the future, you're planning your inevitable success. You've gotta use creative visualization to, to think about it. What does success mean to me in this situation? How do I prioritize my own success? This is how you're gonna get clear. This is how you're gonna get away from this anxiety, this insomnia, this mental anguish clear visualization of the future. What does success mean to me in this situation? Okay. Taking the lead, getting away from whatever it is that's holding you back. Yeah. And you're going to reach that new milestone. You will have success. You will have victory in this situation. You will have a celebration. There will be something worth celebrating. You got to listen to your intuition. Maybe you got to hold on to your money. You got to hold back on certain things because you do have plans. You're putting your energy out there and you're waiting for your ships to come in. And look, it's only a matter of time. You're assessing the situation and you've got to have patience because it's only a matter of time before your ships come in. Okay, so yeah, you're being held back from taking this leap of faith. It has to do with money. Maybe it has to do with long-term stability. You feel like you can't do it? I don't know. You might have to take your power back from the situation. You might have to go blind. You know what I'm saying? You might have to be flying, flying blind. Like you might not know what's on the other side. You might just like, that's why it's called a leap of faith. Because you don't know if you're going to land on your feet. I'm not sure. Take it as it resonates. But it looks like you have a new beginning here. And there's some resistance. And it might have to do with money and stability and security. But what about your happiness? That's the question. You're grieving, but you got to turn it around. Because they're... Look at that. Six of Swords again. You're being guided towards something new. You're being taken away from troubled waters towards the calmer shores. Things are rocky right now, but you don't want to take with you anything that's no longer going to serve you and no longer aligned with who you are and who you want to be in the future. This person here that's rowing the boat is a spirit guide. And here you are with you and your child or whatever is important to you, taking with you only what you can carry into your new life because you don't want it to turn out to be exactly the way it was before. Ten of Pentacles, again, that's what you're going towards. You are going towards. What you don't see is this long-term stability that you're going towards, okay? These keep flying out onto the floor, but that's all right. I, I forgive you. So Nine of Swords is here. There's a lot of anxiety. That's what you got to let go. You got to let go of the fear. 
You got to let go of the anxiety. You got to stop blaming yourself and shaming yourself and making yourself feel bad and attacking yourself. Whoever it was that put that idea into your head that you're not worthy, they're not here right now. Are they in the room with you right now? Is society in the room with you right now? Is society here in the room with us right now? No. So we have to stop imposing that strict limitation on ourselves, hurting ourselves when the person that hurt you is not here. Oh, I don't know why I have to say this. <laughs> okay, it's like who in your life put it into your head that you are to blame for whatever this is or that you should be blamed or that you should be punished? Like, no, it's time to let that go. It's time to stand in our own power and to take it back and to free ourselves from this and to get mental clarity. We've got to be objective about this. No more hurting ourselves. No more self-masochism or whatever. These two wanted to come out. Okay, we've got the Three of Swords and we've got the Nine of Pentacles. Yes, they came out together, so I'll leave them together. There's some sorrow, sadness, heartbreak, loss, trouble, and anxiety in these this relationship about being single, about having your own money, about being alone, being by yourself. This is the single lady. Are you sad being alone? Of course. I mean, that's relatable. I, I don't blame you. But it looks like maybe you're blaming yourself. I don't know. Is somebody blaming you? Is somebody causing... Who's causing this anxiety? Are you doing it to yourself? I'm not implying that you're doing it to yourself. I don't want to blame anybody, any victim here. I'm not trying to blame a victim, okay? I don't know your life. Take it as it resonates. You may really be some a victim of something. Somebody did something to you and it's broken your heart and you found out the truth about something and you're heartbroken or you're sad and you're scared. You don't want to go towards this. I don't blame you. I'm just saying you shouldn't blame yourself either. That's all. That's all I'm trying to say. Bottom of the deck, eight of pentacles. On the split, nine of wands again. Eight of, eight of wands is also showing itself. So you're working very hard right now, mastering your skills, mastering your craft, trying to make that money, trying to make things happen. You got the Empress. It's a very feminine card. It says, yes, Venus, this is all about your home and your love and your finances and your family and your health and your comfort, your comfortable home. Yeah, you're working really hard on that. And the strength card is here, Leo energy. Uh, working really hard on leveling up to reach that safety, security, that strength holding on to what you've got, feeling very confident in yourself, very beautiful, generous, warm, big heart energy. The fool taking that leap of faith. Yes, that is required. You need to, you got to work on your confidence. You got to work on that, that inner strength, knowing that you are the empress. Okay, here's a message. Goddesses don't compete. Goddesses don't compare and they don't compete. They're secure in themselves. And I don't know, there's some, there's an insecurity here that's interfering with some type of money situation, long-term stability situation. Taking that leap of faith, going towards something new. Yeah, you feel like you don't have enough with the five of pentacles. It's like you feel like an outsider, like lack mentality. You got to get away from that eight of cups. It's time to walk away towards your wish fulfillment. You got a big decision to make. You got to rise up from that. Okay. Nine of wands, feeling tired stressed out with the nine of swords here as well there's a lot of stress here a lot of trouble in the heart and in the mind and it's like you got to keep pushing and you got to guard yourself and you got to protect yourself and you've fought so hard and for so long the wounded warrior you know but you're still standing you're still standing and look something coming in for you with this eight of wands something coming in fast and soon hot and heavy i heard Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so look, it may have taken a long time to get to this point, but something's coming in real soon, some kind of communication, some kind of message. Ace of Pentacles. That money is coming in soon. It's taken a long time. You've had to work real hard, but you got to persevere. You got to persist. You got to follow through with the plan. You got to put one foot in front of the other, and as long as it takes, but baby, it's coming in soon. That's what it says, okay? Sooner than you think. It's only a matter of time. You got to assess the situation. You got to try to remain optimistic, even though you're so disappointed in something. Maybe this King of Wands, you're disappointed in him. I don't know. Don't be disappointed in yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Hey, oh, oh boy. Okay, all this is coming out. So first of all, we got the, the Four of Wands, which is reaching that new milestone. Venus in Aries. Okay. 
four of of wands um something has to end before something else can begin this completion if you want to complete that cycle if you want to complete it you've got to something has to end you got to let something go to see it in a different way to rise up from this taking your power back there's some kind of um matter over spirit okay there is the dominance of the material concerns over the spiritual life so the dominance of money the dominance of health is weighing you down yeah like i just saw in the scrying mirror a big coin the ace of coins is coming in it's like wants to reiterate that ace of pentacles is come, the money is on its way the money is on its way keep going keep working keep pushing you will have enough you will have more than enough for anybody who needs to hear that message right now that fear is real that fear is so real like if you don't have enough and you're sad because you're on your own it's coming for you okay yes so four of cups the high priestess bottom of the deck the tower i know i know the moon so something is revealed something is shocking that comes out something maybe already happened that was very shocking it was very disruptive disturbing your peace disturbing the foundation of your life and it was a big massive shake up that was you know yeah seven of cups like again seven of cups and the death, major transformation, something, secrets revealed, mysteries of the universe, you know, coming up out of the depths of the subconscious, but more than that, like Pisces energy, um, dark side of the moon. This is a nightmare, all right? And I know, I know, I know. Death card being here. The past is over. It is coming to an end. All things change. Change is constantly happening. And you cannot resist this tower, this death, it will come down. Do not resist. It will only make it more painful for you. Think about the future. How can you move forward from this? How can you turn this challenge into an opportunity? That's the sort of mindset that's going to get you out of this. Whatever this is, this stuckness, if that's for you. If you're, if you're dealing with being stuck in something like that, that's the kind of attitude. Because the four of cups coming in, it's like that person sitting under the tree. They're ruminating. They're meditating. They're tired. They don't want to do this. They're not sure they want to take the offer. They don't know if they want. They don't even know if they see the offer. Okay, but there is a gift coming in for you. The high priestess is here telling you to listen to your intuition. Follow that inner voice. It is telling you the truth. Okay, it always has your best intentions in mind. It wants what's best for you because you want what's best for you. And it's you telling you, okay, 4-4. Four, four. Um, so this is the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. We've got another 4, 4-4-4, four, 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 okay? Venus in Cancer, the card for birth. Giving birth to an actual baby or giving birth to something else in your life, this new thing in your life, whatever it is that wants to emerge. Okay, we've got Venus and Aries, lust. A lot of, okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. This is explosive lust. This is sexual attraction. This is reptile brain stuff, okay? But it's, I mean, I have Venus and Aries in my chart. I mean, we're pretty irresistible, am I right? <laughs> Sun and Aries, I'm sorry. Sun and Aries is assertion and it's concentration on the bottom of the deck because I need to concentrate on giving Aries a reading and stop talking about myself. No, I'm just kidding. So like, Asserting yourself, lust, birth, there, you know, if you go for this, you might have a, do you want a baby? Like, I don't know, assertion, lust, and birth. I'll let that hang. I'll let you decide how that resonates for you. Bottom of the deck, concentration, Saturn and Gemini, and look at seven of swords here. This little gremlin on these lips, this little spider web, hope is all caught up in this spider web. This little gremlin, it, to me, it means like gossiping and talking a lot of shit, honestly, and there's dishonesty here. There is lying, cheating, stealing involved with the Seven of Swords. Somebody being dishonest. Jupiter and Aquarius is innovation. So you might have to do something new about this. Okay, Bluebird. Come on, Bluebird. Give us something good for Aries. Let's see. What does the Bluebird have to say? Yeah, I see you working really hard, okay, on becoming your best self on this femininity. You want to improve your femininity, your feminine confidence, right? Even if you're a man, like maybe we all have male and female. So it's like we want to improve our relationships with our feminine side or with the females in our life, with our mother, with motherhood. You work really hard because you're becoming a mother. Or you're holding on to yourself. You're holding yourself back or something. I don't know. That's not going to be for everybody. But it's like having confidence in your ability to be 
this feminine figure, this beauty, this goodness and truth and like going for something, even though you might feel like you don't have enough. Creating something with confidence and working on it, even if you're tired, even if you're not feeling yourself, you know what I mean? Like, oh my goodness, look at this. First of all, the child came out, a child, 13. When a sweet child smiles your way, innocence brings joy to fill your day. Friends are many, enemies are few. Embrace a fresh start in all that you do. Ace of, Ace of Swords up in the corner, number 13. I mean, that's the death card and death and rebirth. Birth is here. One and three is four. Four is here. Four, four, four. This is your fourth house. This is the house of motherhood. This is the house of home. Domesticity and children. Well, children is actually like the fifth house, okay? But it's like birth. I'm, I don't know. I'm just trying to make it make sense. Somebody make it make sense, please. <laughs> I don't know. No, I do know. I'm talking to you right now. It says the child. So some of you, not everybody, maybe you're having a child and you're, or this is, if this is something that you don't want to have, the cards are trying to warn you that it, you know, it's possible. Maybe it's possible for you. Number eight, the coffin. Okay, so this is the uh, 10, no, nine of pentacles. Again, the single lady. There's some anxiety about that here. Maybe you've got anxiety about being a single mother and you're like not sure about all of that. It's trying to reassure you that it's going to be okay, that you're going to get the help and the stuff that you need or whatever. You, there's, there's resources out there. Don't listen to people talking shit. They're, they don't know your struggle. But anyway, number eight, illness is known. Sickness is near. Fate has its own ending to fear. You lose your money. All's hopeless to you. And what's the saddest? Your courage fails too. Well, that's that sucks. Okay. We don't want that, so take that as a warning, I guess. Is that something you're dealing with right now? Let me know down in the comment section below. Are you dealing with this kind of stuff in your life right now? Is that the, the difficulties that you're facing? And that's why you're really tired of all this? And it's like, no wonder if you feel negative, you know? But you're going towards stability. I see that. Number 21, the mountain. It is six, seven, it's, wait, six, seven, eight, eight of wands coming towards you very quickly this energy this communication this message coming for you something is coming in for you it might have taken a long time but look it's the ace of pentacles here like i said so that's money that's great that's resources that's abundance that is a seed of something new it could be a new job or it could just be like money coming for you that's gonna help you out like everybody needs that or you know maybe that's what you're working on you gotta have confidence and strength all right you are strong you are confident but everybody gets, you know, everybody has their weak moments, right? It's reminding you to be confident in yourself, your femininity, and your ability to be a good mother, a good woman. And if that resonates for you, it's not going to be for everybody, obviously. But in any case, um, number 21, confront the mountain as you would a fierce foe. To avoid your defeat, strike hard the first blow. This clear obstacle is a chance to succeed. Courage and persistence are all that you need. The strength card, courage. Knight, Knight of Pentacles, persistence. Okay, obstacle is a chance to succeed. This challenge is an opportunity. Turn it into an opportunity. This says the Cavalier. It is the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment, dream come true. Okay, something good coming in. You will be satisfied with yourself. Number one, it says cavalier. Heed well good news from the cavalier. Let me be your cavalier. I'm giving you good news right now. Okay, things are going to be great. Impassioned views promise good cheer. I'm telling you, good cheer. Sadness that hides veiled in the day once disguised soon flies away. That sadness is getting the hell out of here because I said so. Okay, let's get some Sibylla. <laughs> let's do this. Um, yeah, you might be worried about something to do with being single, being with your children, whatever. Things are going to be okay. It's going to be great. So a bunch of stuff just popped out. It's a, a wedding, a letter, anger, dark haired woman. There might be some letter from this angry, dark haired woman about your marriage, about your wedding, about whatever it has to do. I don't know. I guess she might have something to say. Everybody's got something to say. Or maybe you're the dark haired woman and you're angry because you're getting a letter about some kind of a wedding or something, or I don't know. That's not going to resonate for everybody. This is just confirmation. Maybe you're dealing with a wedding situation, okay? Maybe you're waiting for a letter. Maybe you're pissed off and somebody's mad or something like that. And maybe you've got dark hair like me. So, let's see. 
Some money. Okay, some money coming for you. And let's get one more for Aries, please. I want one more for Aries, please. Oh, five of cups here. I'm disappointed. Five of cups here. Yeah, you might be disappointed about this. The letter coming in, ace of pentacles. That might have your money for you. Anger with the six, seven, eight of wands. Yes, I mean, somebody could be telling you to your face or in a letter or in a message. Or you could be telling somebody about themselves. We got the dark-haired woman with the four of swords that's like taking time for rest rehabilitation relaxation taking time for yourself to make sure you get enough sleep etc and then some money coming in we got six seven of seven of wands so it's like yeah you have to defend yourself you have to protect yourself and stand your ground and make sure that you're protecting your money okay um anything else for aries oh sorry excuse me sorry excuse me sorry let's do this victory it says victory and it says five of wands five of wands victory you're going to overcome this challenge this competition and then a journey so you might be taking a little trip a little vacation when it says ten of pentacles yes ten of pentacles i love it long-term stability you might have to travel a little bit here to get to where you need to go and then on the bottom of the deck we got the sincere friend with the ace of wands so you got a good friend around you who might be helping you out it might be just your spirit guides okay so I see in the scrying mirror, again, this like long winding road, this journey towards the rising sun, just like in the temperance card in the background, you've got that like pathway through the fields that goes towards that mountain with the sun rising coming up in the background. So that's good. I mean, you could be traveling east, you could be going to the east coast, sunrise in the east, you know. But it takes a long time. There's a journey involved and you've got to be persistent. You've got to be courageous. You've got to go for it. I say go for it, Aries. That's what I think. Let me check my watch, my clock here. 26 minutes. I think go for it. Be strong. You got this. Okay. That's all I've got for you today, Aries. I want to do a Woodland Wardens. Okay, Woodland Wardens. I love this deck. This is so beautiful. And I love the messages. I'm going to read it from the book. Let's get one for Aries. Just to close this out before I go. One one for Aries. Yeah, because there could be something shocking that transforms your life that comes out. And this, something is revealed. Some secret is revealed. Be strong, Aries. You've got this, okay? Woodland Wardens for Aries, please. One card. Just one. All right. This one. It wants this one. I want this one. Success. Hey, success. The chipmunk and the laurel is success, number seven. So I'm going to read it from the book. Success. It says, the chipmunk and the laurel symbolizes a new venture that will surely lead to success. New venture, the fool, victory, success. That's what we were talking about. You're working on it, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles being here all this time, the, the Four of Wands being here, and Milestone, yes, I love this for you, okay? So, surely lead to success. The chipmunk often takes the road less traveled, finding hidden pathways and adventure along the way. The laurel is a symbol of victory used to crown the winners in the ancient Olympic Games. Together, when we see victory here, look at that, victory. I love this, okay? Together, they tell us to take charge of our destiny, carve our own path. Like King of Wands takes charge, carve your own path with the fool. I saw that path in the scrying mirror. Um, and yeah, take charge of your destiny, carve your own path, and you will find success. Forge a unique path towards your desires. The road to achieving your goals is hardly ever straight and easy, but the journey is ultimately rewarding. Yeah, I saw that path. It's going like this. It's winding. It says, this can be a card of stagnation. With the hanged man, that's stagnation. You may feel frustrated, stalled, or set back. Think about the clever and enterprising chipmunk. What lesser known pathways could lead you to your goal? Or how might you redefine success? It says, it says, where, uh, hold on. What success is in my life can I celebrate? That's what it's asking us. How can I carve my own path and live my truth? Okay, Aries, the cards have spoken. This is beautiful. 
You might be going through it. It's a long and winding road, but you're going to get to victory. You're going to get to success. I love that for you. I love that for us. Okay. Thank you so much for giving me a chance for clicking on my link, my video here. Thank you for supporting my channel. I love you guys so much. You are amazing. The response to these videos has been amazing. Okay. Um, we've got some in uh, information in the description down below. If you want my email, private reading, PayPal donation, whatever. I'm just saying it's all down there. If you want to contact me for a reading, I'm still doing that $25 special right now, that beginner's luck special, okay? Um, but people are telling me it's too cheap. I'm like, all right. I mean, I want to be able to make sure everybody can af afford this, but in the future, I might change it up a little bit. So right now, beginner special is still going on, $25 for a reading. Maybe I'll do $25 for like half a half a reading in the future and like raise it to 50 for the full. Tell me what you think of that idea. But any case, I love you guys. You're amazing. Stay strong. Be safe. Make good choices. You got this. Keep going. Perseverance, courage, and you will get there to that victory. Okay, Aries, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.